Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode. Today I'm going to show you how I install AdGuard on Proxmox on a copy of Ubuntu server. This is something I'm doing it for myself. So I was thinking, well, why not recording and I'm going to show you how it works. It's quite simple. Just a couple of lines. Just follow me and you'll see how I'm going to do it. So without any delay, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to jump to the GitHub page for Adgar team. This is for the home version. I'm going to leave all the description links below. So just you can follow along. Now there's three ways to do it. We can do with curl, double get and fetch. I'm going to choose a double get. At the moment, I already done the update, update and upgrade for the version of Ubuntu that I install it is 20.0 I think 04 I think something like that anyway all the main thing in update has been done so to create a copy what you do you create a container again all the information on how to do this and how to install uh, Ubuntu server on Proxmox in the description below the links there also you can actually search for my YouTube channel uh, videos also add guard on docker as well is in the description below all right so what you do you just type the host name you choose the main pool you put the password there you confirm the password and then you go to the templates the templates are inside the uh, let's have a look at the local here go containers and as you can see this is the one i'm using all right so let's see no here there and there we go. That's what you do. You do the container, you get the ad card, you go to console, you log in with root and the password you added, and you're ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to see if wget is installed on my system. Now to install something on Ubuntu, you type apt or apt install and the name of the application. In this case, it will be wget. Now I already got that installed, so it should give me it's already you know the newest version is already installed that's it that's all i really need to know just in case you just type apt install wget now let's go back to the adgard uh, git app i'm going to copy the line here and this is really what i really need to get started and get adgard installed now the actual video is going to be very short i'm going to pause it between the installation so for you will be instantaneously so if you are doing with me or while i'm doing it make sure you pause the videos so you can actually be synced more or less you know in the same way so you can actually follow it okay so let's go back to the um uh, proxmox GUI here and i'm going to paste it as plain text now you can see sudo if you are not logged in as a root okay you could do that i'm not going to do that because i'm already root now another thing i would like to say stress you can actually do it using remotely just in case you're using i don't know linode or whatever i usually use it pretty and you can do it from here as well again um, the best practice is to disable root and create a user with sudo access okay so that is important uh this one is for me is for my server when everything's finished i'll disable the root ssh uh, so nobody can actually log in with uh, via ssh with root and i'm going to create a user with the sudo options all right so set so i'm going to close this one and i'm going to press enter all right so the installation is done you can actually copy this line and choose start stop restart status install in uninstall is up to what you're using so i'm going to copy that okay uh no made a mistake and now wait a minute it's quite difficult to do it with when you don't have a mouse proper mouse and i'm going to say status and as you can see the version is running and has done successfully Linux system. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to paste it in a new tab. And there we go. Uh, we got the part of the installation. I'm going to do get started. All interfaces, and on this particular one, I got one interface, right? But 
the one I'm going to migrate it to, because I will migrate this container to a different Proxmox, I got multiple ports there. So multiple interface. I got one port on a motherboard, and I got a PCI Express card with four extra ports, okay? So make sure you got multiple ports if you're running a lot of services, so otherwise you get a lot of problems. You might get problems, technically. So the DNS server is on port 53, the inter uh, sorry the main admin interface is on port 80 now logically this is the local address for the machine again we're not going to use that we're going to use this one here the version 4 and also you got version 6 here if you needed to i run both ip system so i can actually access with both all right so once I do that, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the two ports, just in case you can change the ports if you're already using it. So as you can see here, the valid port, the address is already in use. So I'm already using it somewhere, I think. Yes. Let's do 54. And that's it. So you got to remember 54 now. I'm going to press next. I'm going to add the username for this installation. I'm going to add, for example, admin and my usual passwords that I usually use for installation for demonstration only. Again, I will be changing this after. Then I'm going to go next, not now. Again, I'm going to look and make sure that everything looks good. Again, the 54 the DNS is correct. Uh, I can do with the router, I can do Windows, Mac OS. Again, you can see here how it works, all right? Usually I use this with router, so I don't have to go on every single device, but that's up to you. Sometimes not every router can actually do it. Uh, you can change the DNS. Uh, on my, I can. So yeah, make sure you could do that. You could do a search online for your particular uh, router and see how you can actually change the DNS, all right? So I'm gonna change that. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm, for myself, I'm going to leave it on router. Again, you can choose anything you want there. Uh, I'm going to do next. And job done. I'm going to open the dashboard. And I'm going to start with the username and the password. And as you can see, the ad guard has been installed on Proxmox. Very simple. We are around 10 minutes back. And it really takes about 50 minutes. It doesn't really take a lot. The installation was nearly instantaneous on Proxmox, all right? So again, guys, this is how it's done and how quickly you could do it. Uh, you can, this is something, you know, last time I done, I don't remember seeing the, the, uh, the actual disable, the protection up here by the dashboard um, title here but again something nice so you know you can actually get there when you want to disable for a few seconds again the settings are here the update interval is every 24 hours again you can do every hour 12 24 three days and seven days or you can actually disable if you want to uh use adgar browsing security web service i like to have that use adgar parent control web service i like that as well and again, here we got some use a safe search. And you can do that as well if you want to. I don't usually use that, but again, it's up to you. The logs configuration, I can anonymize the client IP if I want to. Uh, I don't usually do that. The logs rotation, and I believe this is when they get um, deleted every 90 days, I presume. I be, might be wrong on this. I don't remember what it actually means, guys. And here you can actually add all the domains you want to ignore. Once you're happy, you just press save. Now, you've got to remember the... If I go back here... Uh, sorry, Proxmox. This is the actual IP you can actually use with the port 54. For example, if you want to um, configure your Windows... Um, port for example let me show you a second and let me get it that up so i can actually show you precisely what i'm talking about all right so as you can see here if you want to change the ethernet port uh sorry dns let's say i go on the ipv4 i'm going properties at the moment is using dns address automatically from my router again just in case you can do it you can change that to the address you want uh, 192 168 
one and I think the other one is one nine one. Now again, um, you're better off going to the advanced part uh, because what you do here, you can actually add the port as well. All right, uh, it doesn't get any this one here. Uh, all right, so yes, I done that. Now it's one nine one, and oh, you go anyway. Just press OK. Uh, it was a problem with the actual configuration, but I sort that out. So yes, you put the actual IP of the server. In this case, it will be one nine one, and all you do is press OK. All right. So once you've done that, so all you got to do just search whatever, and again. It works so there'll be no problem there so in the settings again you can go to the dns settings you can change the upstream dns server you can change the if you want to load balancing parallel request or fastest ip again this is some of the examples you can use bootstrap dns server private dns server so on and so forth this is the actual configuration of the dns right and again you can actually configure the cache of the dns once you're happy don't forget guys to save the configuration that is important otherwise you'll lose it again we go to encryption settings again you can actually enable encryption so it will be https again make sure if you do so you have a domain name otherwise that will not work you need to change the dns reversal i use cloudflare so it will be no problem again I'll leave the description below. Um, I'm sure I got a video about uh, DNS, and uh, I think I used it with the um, by all. So I'm gonna leave it there, the actual um, links, so you can actually have a look at the video. So again, the certificates. Again, you can paste it. You can download it. That's done automatically if you wanted to. Again, here is all the uh, client settings. You can add uh, clients. Then it can access this or everything via and the DCFP. If you want to run your DHCP, you can do it from here, okay? Both IPv4 and IPv6. Here you can have a DNS block list. It comes with two. Uh, one is enabled, the other one is not. Uh, here we go, I just enabled the other one. Uh, you can add the block list and you can check for updates. 54,000 rules and we got 6,500 rules for this one here. We got the allowed list, we got the rewrites, block services. Again, you can block all the services, you can block one by one. Netflix, uh, Mail uh, Russia, eBay is up to you just by clicking it, so you don't have to do a lot of work for that. It's quite easy to use at guys, I must be honest. And here you can create your custom uh, filters. We got the logs, and again, we got some setup guides. Again, we go back on what we've done here with router, you know, Windows, Mac OS, it's up to you. You can have, again, dark mode and light mode, it's up to you. Um, either way, you know, it's up to where you like it. I like a lot uh, the dark, but again, a lot of people like the, um, the white mode. All right, so as you can see here, guys, the DNS... What I done technically, as I had problems, I went to the terminal, I went to the opt folder, adguard home, and I would edit this file here, adguard home.yaml. You go there, you change the port again back to, from 54, if you follow me, to 53. If you left at 53, you shouldn't have no problem, but if you did, change it back to 53, I'm going to go x here just one second guys so, so i can get this one up and run it properties uh here we go we go back to for the back to property so you can see it's 191 192 68 191 cancel that i'm gonna put it on the side uh refresh that if I refresh that, as you can see, we got 14. And as you can see, everything works perfectly well. So I just want to make sure that, you know, we are on the same page. As I had errors, and I wanted to see it, it was... 
I do have a program with the router. It, port fifty four works, but uh, I, I wouldn't really do this again because I want to make sure that you didn't have any issues. Because perhaps you will have a problem if you're using Windows, as I I showed you now, that you cannot actually add the port. So yes, I can add the port on my router, but I cannot add the port on Windows. So I wanted to make sure that you could go back again, change to port fifty three, just in case you followed my tutorial to to go to port 54 if you have the problems so now everything works as you can see and the dashboard it shows up that everything everything's fine so anyway guys thank you so much and i'll see you next time